Serving Southern New Mexico, this is the award-winning KRWG-TV News 22, where news matters. Good evening, everyone. I'm April Bourjan. And I'm Azure Mitchell. We have some disturbing information to share with you guys tonight, and we do want to warn you that we will be mentioning types of sexual assault. The scandal with the New Mexico State University basketball program is now in the courts. Three individuals, William Deuce Benjamin Jr., his father William Benjamin, and former NMSU player Shakiru Shak Odwinwu are suing the NMSU Board of Regents, former head coach Greg Heyer, assistant coach Dominique Taylor, and three former NMSU players, Kim Aiken Jr., Dr. Bradley, and Deshaun J. Washington on February 10, 2023, the basketball program was suspended due to hazing allegations from the multiple members on the team. Hire was fired shortly after and the coaching staff was put on paid on administration leave. An investigation was launched into the allegations and is still ongoing. The lawsuit was filed this morning at 10.27 a.m. It describes the non-consensual touching harassment, physical, and sexual abuse that occurred on multiple occasions. During the summer of 2022, O'Dwayne Wu claims he was taking a shower in the Aggie locker room when Bradley and Aiken, quote, ripped the shower curtain aside and forced Shock to do squats as they slapped his buttocks. On November 12, 2022, the team traveled by bus to play at UTEP in El Paso. Washington, Bradley, and Aiken allegedly tackled O'Dwayne Wu onto the floor of the bus and pulled his pants and underwear down to his ankles. They then proceeded to pin him down, repeatedly sodomize him, squeeze his scrotums, and slapped his buttocks. O'Dwayne Wu claims that during this incident, none of his teammates did anything to stop the attack. And when the coaching staff heard the commotion in the back of the bus, one reported, turn around, and yelled out, stop playing around. O'Dwayne Wu reported the incident to both Coach Hire and Taylor and alleges that Taylor responded to the accident saying, what do you want me to do? Neither Taylor or Hire reported the incident to the university or disciplined any parties involved. Deuce Benjamin alleges he was a frequent target of the three athlete defendants and claims that the coaches and staff often showed up late to practice and did little to supervise. Deuce says the times he was abused usually happened in the locker room before workouts or practices. One incident occurred at an out-of-town hotel room. Aiken, Bradley, and Washington allegedly pulled Deuce's shorts down, grabbed his scrotum, and twisted it, inflicting great pain. Deuce says all of this was done in front of multiple females. The lawsuit claims that Hire and his coaching staff emboldened and empowered Aiken, Bradley, and Washington to commit these acts. Here on the NMSU campus, students and staff are feeling the effects of this scandal. Jolene Youngers is rep how uh, personal lives, lawsuits, you know, the board, you know, lots of people are getting involved when, you know, there's a lot of victims that we should be thinking about instead. I think, one, it's very brave. I think there's a lot of um, just mean things being said about the survivor of the hazing, and I think to come forward is very brave, and, you know, I my thoughts are with, with the people that came forward. Honestly, I think it's a valid response to everything that happened because they put that boy through a lot here. Jolene Youngers is representing both William Deuce Benjamin Jr. and his father and Mark Pickett, William Marsha, Ramu Sa Sami and Miles Lenz are representing Shakiru Odwainwu. This is a developing story and we will keep you updated with any new information. And Jenny is next with the first look at weather. Thanks, April. So it is pretty sunny out there right now. The temperature is reading 81 degrees, but there is going to be a slight breeze out of the west at 12 miles per hour. Now we do have a humidity at 7%, a dew point of 9 degrees, and a barometer reading 29.61 inches. Now we did have a high today of 85 and a low of 51, but around this time of year, we normally have an average sitting at 79. Back in 1989, we did have a record high of a warm 93 degrees, but in 1975, we had a record low of below freezing 31 degrees. Now today, we did not have any precipitation, leaving our yearly rainfall at 0.57 inches. Now that's all I have for those current conditions, but join me later for a look at those national temperatures. Back to the desk. 
It's prize season here at New Mexico State University, and with it comes entertainment on campus. And while other states have banned it, drag shows are still loved here in New Mexico. This is Jae Yoon performing as his drag persona, Chaotica. Yoon has been doing drag since October of 2021. I know I've been doing it for uh, on and off as a hobby, and now I feel like I'm getting into it seriously. It has become an important part of his life. I don't know where I'd be without it. Even though he loves what he does, the transformation can take some time. It usually takes him up to two to three hours to transform into his drag persona. After all of the preparation, the fans love it. Drag is an art form and it's a way of self-expression and being queer, I think, um, made me interested in going to a safe space where people like me can express themselves freely. However, there were obstacles in the form of anti-drag bills passed around in multiple states. Drag, historically, you know, what used to be referred to as cross-dressing or transvesticism is absolutely something that goes against the status quo. But within states like Tennessee, those bills have been temporarily blocked by the courts since it violates the First Amendment. This is Xavier McCombs for, from News 22. And welcome back. You're watching News 22 Wednesday, where news matters. And Jenny is next with a look at your national weather. Thanks, April. So taking a look at my first national map, we can see the precipitation up in the northwest is going to hit Seattle and the Medford area. Now they're going to be experiencing some rain and a little bit of snow as well as in that Rocky Mountain area. But the um, western and or the eastern and central side of the nation is going to be experiencing most of those severe storms. Now taking a look at my next national map, we can see that that's mostly going to be in the Midwest area, specifically that Omaha and Kansas City. Those um, cities are going to be experiencing a little bit of hail and even some tornado warnings. Now taking a look at my next slide, we can see that here in Las Cruces it is going to be beautiful outside. We have no um, storm warnings. Um, so 7 a.m. it'll be 47 degrees, 8 a.m. 53 degrees, and 9 a.m. 58 degrees. Now that's all I have for your national temperatures, but join me after the break for a look at those local temps. Back here watching News 22. Now taking a look at those current temperatures outside, we can see that Farmington is at 59, Albuquerque 74, and Deming all the way at 80 degrees. Now tomorrow it is going to cool off just a little bit. It's going to be 59 in Gallup, 71 in Closes, 81 here in Las Cruces, and 79 in Deming. Now taking a look in Alamogordo, it is going to be 51 tonight and 74 tomorrow. Truth or consequences, it'll be 49 tonight and a high of 75 tomorrow. Now in Silver City, it will only be 38 as the low, but tomorrow it'll be 70 with a lot of wind. Now in Las Cruces, it'll only be 51 tonight, and then it'll be a high of 81 tomorrow and really windy. That's all I have. Back to the desk. And thank you for those local temperatures, Jenny. And now to Maddie with sports. Thanks, guys. Coming up in sports, the new basketball coach takes a shot at baseball. Don't go too far because News 22 Sports is next. This is KRWG-TV News 22 Sports. Welcome back. I'm Maddie Vollmer, and let's talk sports. The new basketball coach for the Aggies, Jason Hooten, threw the first pitch yesterday at the Lobo Aggie baseball game. The last time the Aggies played the Lobos was up north, and they took care of business, beating them 2 to nothing. However, Coach Hooten's first pitch wasn't so lucky for the baseball team last night. The Aggies baseball team messed with the Lobos and got bit, allowing 13 unanswered runs. The Lobo domination started right away with back-to-back -back four innings, and the Aggies could only, answer with, could only answer with seven hits. But this should be expected from the number two team in the nation with a .333 batting average. The I-25 rivalry will, be, will have two more meetings with the next game at the Presley Askew Field on May 16th. But first, the Aggies will play Tarleton University on Friday at 5 p.m. 
From now on, NMSU shall know pain. Payne Anders, that is, coach Jason Hooten's latest addition to his staff, transplanted from Sam Houston in addition to Kenneth Mangrum as well. Andres is coming with Coach Hooten from Sam Houston, which is where Mangrum was also on staff 10 years ago before spending the last few seasons at Troy University. With back-to-back 20-win -back seasons for the first time in two decades, Mangrum is coming to NMSU after Troy returned to postseason basketball for the first time since 2016, as they were part of the College Basketball Invitational. And that's all for Sports Night. Join us tomorrow for more sports action. Still ahead on News 22, Jenny will be back to take a look at your five-day forecast. That's all for News 22 Wednesday. Thank you for joining us tonight. Good night. This news brief in Espanol is brought to you by Noticias 22, Spanish language news for Southern New Mexico and West Texas. Noticias 22. Hola, ¿qué tal? Les saluda con mucho gusto Christopher Hernández con el breve informativo de Noticias 22. El día de hoy empezamos con una noticia impactante a la cual se le recomienda discreción. Se nos ha brindado nueva información acerca del incidente de abuso sexual ocurrido dentro del equipo masculino de baloncesto de la Universidad Estatal de Nuevo México en Las Cruces. Ha salido a la luz una demanda en contra de la Junta de Regentes de la Universidad, dos ex entrenadores principales del equipo y tres ex jugadores que las víctimas William Deuce Benjamin Jr. y Shakiro Shaq o Dwayne Wu hicieron. De acuerdo con el documento legal de la firma de abogados establecida en Las Cruces, al Manzanar en Youngers. Hubieron varias ocasiones donde Dwayne Wu y William fueron víctimas de abuso por parte de Dr. Bradley, Kim Aiken Jr. y de Chandra Washington. El incidente más grave hacia Dwayne Wu fue durante un viaje deportivo en el cual los sospechosos lo golpearon y sometieron en los asientos traseros del camión. Ahí bajaron sus pantalones y ropa interior e insertaron sus dedos en el recto mientras lastimaban su escroto. En el caso de William, se repitieron varios patrones donde además se incluyó a la, de, la denigración genital frente a mujeres en ambos casos. O Dwayne Wu y William pidieron ayuda al entrar al entrenador Greg Hire y a la junta directiva de NMSU, pero ellos no respondieron. Después de este escándalo, despidieron a Hire y a las víctimas y victimarios abandonaron NMSU. Aún la investigación sigue en curso, pero seguiremos brindándole la información. Esto ha sido todo por mi parte. Gracias por su sintonización. Gracias por su sintonización.